So if you follow my Instagram or if you're on my personal Facebook, there's probably not a lot of YouTube people on my personal Facebook page. But I know that several of them follow me on Instagram and then that suddenly leads to them being on my personal Facebook page, which is fine. I mean, I'm the same person whether I'm Sharpridge, Homestead, or Ed Wiggett, right? Anyway, so I make bread. Pre-cancer, I made a loaf of bread every year. I started doing that in like 2013, 2014. Some weeks I make two loaves of bread. Sometimes I use a bread maker. Sometimes I use the oven. Anyways, once I got cancer, I had to have all my teeth pulled. The cancer was actually in my tonsils and in my gums and in my throat. And I had a bread recipe that a lot of people loved. And I loved it too. It was my favorite bread. Post-cancer, I wasn't able to eat that bread. So I've been trying now for several weeks to come up with a new recipe that I could eat. And it kind of has some very unique qualities that it has to have specific for me post-cancer. Anyways, here are some tips about bread that I'm going to share with you because I made this bread about five days ago. I could eat this. I've, this was a two-pound loaf. You can see there's hardly none of it left. So when I store bread, I don't store it in plastic bags. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. All I do is I fold out some aluminum foil. And before I ever cut the bread, and I know this is hard to do because warm bread tastes the best. But as soon as you cut that loaf open, you store it, cut in down on this aluminum foil. Then I take it from there, I stick it in the microwave surface down just like that inside the microwave that's the way i keep that bread the whole entire time now this is going to be kind of hard for me to do i actually need to find a mount for this camera but i'm going to show you how i slice bread i've already shown this in previous videos but i want to do it again because this bread now is five days old this is the way it's been stored all five days the outside of this is hard the inside of this though is still you know, it's starting to get stale, but I'm going to show you how to make stale bread perfectly edible all over again. This will literally last. I mean, there's one, two, three, three slices left there. I've been eating one or two slices a day. So, you know, it'll last, you know, until I eat it all. But let me show you how to do this. So I have no idea where the mount is at for my cell phone camera. And... I kind of suspect it might be out in the woodworking shop um, and am my uh, GoPro's dead. So we're just going to wing it. Anyways, you need one of these bread slicers. You can get these off of Amazon for a little bit or nothing. They have an adjustable sleeve that goes in there so you can kind of control the thickness of your bread. Then you put the bread in. which generally fits pretty snug. You put the bread in, then you slice it. Now I'm not gonna be able to do this, I need both hands, so I'll bring you back after this is sliced. Okay, so now I've got two slices there, right? Now this is what you do with stale bread. I'm gonna actually reuse one that I already just used, which is just a small plate and a paper towel. You want to take your paper towel, you want to make it big enough so that you can stick your slice of bread in there, fold the sides over like so. This is hard to do one handed. Fold the ends over like so. So now you got the sides folded in, you got the ends folded over, fold this, flip it over like that. Then this is going to go in your microwave for 30 seconds. While it's in the microwave, get you some butter out and a knife. So after you take your bread out, you'll notice your bread is steaming. That's when you take your butter and put on your bread me trying to put this on here one-handed this is gonna be fun you kind of get the idea though 
Even if you're making peanut butter and jelly, you still put butter on stale bread. This kind of revives it. So once you got your butter on there, then you can take and put whatever else you was planning to put on your bread. Now your bread is perfectly good. It'll be falling apart good. That's all that it takes to do it, is that right there. Falling apart good. Hold on, I gotta eat this. Oh yeah. So, that's what you do with stale bread, that's how you revive it. And, uh, again, store it on aluminum foil, cut side down against aluminum foil, don't stick it in any plastic bags. You put bread in a plastic bag, what you're going to do is going to, going to mold in about a day or two. Um, the crust of bread is actually what protects the bread. So you only have to protect the cut side of it with the aluminum foil. And as long as you do that, bread will last, you know, it'll last a week. Homemade bread, that's the way I do it. Again, when it does get stale, you can stick it in a microwave wrapped in a napkin. As soon as you take it out of the microwave, put butter on it. And then that makes it moist again, falls apart. Then you can put peanut butter, jelly, whatever you want on it after that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.